that song. We're going to do an Elvis tune. We also have a request for Def Leppard, so. Oh. <laughs> Who's that, Army Chris? What's he doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, we had a request for Tavern down below, but let's do some Elvis. All right, let's do some Elvis. Maybe. Oh. Christmas. Christmas Tavern. All right. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I like the second version. Sorry. I would trade them both today. I was, it was just, uh, we were doing Christmas. Oh, oh, hell, oh, blue. Christmas without you, I'll be so blue, thinking about you, decorations are red out of green, Christmas tree won't Okay. Won't be the same, dear. If you're not here with me, and when those blue snowflakes start falling, now we're on it. And when those blue memories start calling, you be too. Christmas ones once a year, you know? <laughs> I'm actually a huge Elvis fan. So am I, man. Growing up, I was a big Elvis fan. Yeah. Um, I've never really told anyone this story, but I grew up in a town in Saskatchewan. They used to have a, uh, like a Maybe variety yeah. show for a year. And one year I was supposed to be the Elvis impersonator. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thank what God. You, what were you going to sing? It was late stages, drug addicted Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> they flew the cattle. They roll, they like roll a clawfoot tub and a toilet out, and you come out and you sit on it. And <laughs> <laughs> well, and I was supposed to be Made Elvis. My mom looks exactly like Anne Murray, and she used oh. to do an Anne Murray impression. <laughs> Your mom does. What a unique family. <laughs> yeah that's great well thanks for asking me to sing for you guys grant i appreciate it anytime man we love doing these be live shows yeah man they're ken, a lot of fun to do. ken popped by today and brought some uh friggin beer over from polar park which is amazing do you remember the last time we were at polar park together <laughs> no <laughs> did i do you remember the last that you and I went to Polar Park together right before the pandemic? Did we? So we went to the Park Light, we watched UFC, and then we yes. went to Polar Park to watch Lachlan play with the Red Cannons. That 
was Polar Park. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that was when I got Panther to drive me home because I was like, no, I this is this is not going to end well. Well, and we almost got kicked out because you convinced me we could smoke in the stairwell. <laughs> yeah, I'm good at I'm good at doing that to people or to myself. Like, I used no, to have just- this, like. We used to go to the bar across the road. It was called Overtime. And if it was getting like uh, pretty late, like Ethan and I, my good friend, if it was getting pretty late and we'd been there too long and the, I, I figured that I didn't want to pay the bill, I'd just light a smoke at the table <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> wait for the bouncer to tell me to leave. Which like it, in the moment, it seemed like a great idea. But then I, would, I remembered that like I'd been in that bar for like five years and I knew everybody worked there. And I just have like a message the next day on Facebook be like, Jake, you have to come back and pay your bill and quit talking in the bar. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jake and I once got kicked out of every bar in Banff, so. <laughs> also my fault, I think, particularly, but. We had to hone in on one person. I think it was mostly me. That's what Jimmy said anyway. I should probably get some Kid Rock on the list for Army Chris, but uh, we can do Steve yeah. Earle if we really need to. Does he have a Christmas album? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Army Chris would know. Kid Rock should <laughs> All right, let's do one more here. That's not another one John Prine tune. This one's called Everything is Cool. Everything is cool. Everything's okay. Why just before last Christmas? My baby went away Across the sea to an island Where the bridge is by labor So far away from my land The valley of the unconcerned And I was walking down a road, man Just looking at my shoes Chase away my blues I saw a hundred thousand black birds Just to fly through the sky They seemed to form a teardrop From a black and angel's eye That tear fell all around me Wash my sins away Performance, oh, my. Oh, 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 o
Chris, Chris says he's got your Tupperware. Are you still texting? Get off your phone. Fun oh fact. Uh, <laughs> we got a lot of talking going on here. Mm-hmm. Hi, Chris. Army Chris Fun is fact. Army Chris is doing the cooking at Jake and Amanda's wedding. Yeah, we're so excited. And the DJing, apparently. We're getting married in June. She's if she, a one stop shop. If she stops texting, we'll probably get married in June. <laughs> <laughs> <That's healthy. laughs> on it. Stop. Yeah, Chris said he's too loaded to make a request, man. That's fine. Yeah, we can't wait. Chris is gonna cook at our wedding. We're gonna have we'll what see. six briskets, a bunch of chickens. Yeah. We have the smokers some rolling. Veggie burgers and maybe some gluten-free I doubt it. Veggie burgers? Yeah, no, probably not. On the same on the same grill that he did the brisket. Yeah, on. that's what we're gonna run. We're gonna we're gonna cook them in the brisket grease. Perfect. <laughs> are, you, uh, are you vegetarian, Amanda? No. I'm flexitarian. <laughs> yeah, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm sober, I try not to eat too much meat. Right. Then I get drunk and want. Which is so meat. yeah, she's eating meat every day over here. <laughs> oh, <all> day. <laughs> because Michaela's a yoga teacher, everyone assumes she's vegan, but right. But she's hard on the McDonald's nuggets. She's a freegan. That's not real meat, though. No, yeah. it's not. That's yeah, that's true. true. Yeah. yeah. Someone just, a carriage just said that uh, McDonald's meat's not real meat, so she's still in the clear. That's true. Perfect. Yeah. And the milk is rat milk, so you can drink their milk. What? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you can milk anything with nipples. <laughs> Even almonds. Almonds. <laughs> Milk them almonds. All right, let's do one that everybody knows. This one's called uh, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. You ready? <laughs> hey, Santa's, Santa needs that, man. It's fuel for the fire. I don't know why. 
I saw <laughs> Daddy do this to Santa. And... I have a very active imagination. <laughs> yeah, no, it's nine thirty. Oh, Army Chris is gunned right now. So, who is Army Chris? Yeah, he's allowed. <laughs> so the guy, who does the clap button? Is that just anybody that wants to can clap along? What's that, sir? The clap button. So like anybody can just hit it and then I hear it or we all hear it or there it is. That's nice. We do ask that people hold it till the end of the song because it, it does overpower everything else, but a little bit. I mean, it's okay though. That's good. Yeah, great. It's it's good to know that people are uh clapping along. Well, should we do one more, maybe two more? Donna B is on there. Oh, yeah, we got my whole family on the app, so they're all slowly coming in and checking it out. And... Yeah. Oh yeah, they're all watching. Well, that's cool. All, all right, let's do one more. This one I got. Grant invited me to come play on the radio when I was. Uh... What was that? Was that two years ago? Now I guess we knew it last year, but we did. Uh... They invited me to come sing a Christmas song at ninety-five-seven Cruise, which was super awesome. So we do. Yeah. What's that? I do remember this. I said, "Sorry, yeah." I, I in. <laughs> it was a good time. We did a little uh, Mr. Grinch. So let's uh, for old time's sake, let's play a little Mr. Grinch. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Really are here. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as a new you're Mr. So green. You're a bad banana with a greasy black bee. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's empty, oh, your brain is full of spiders, you got garlic in your soul, yeah, Mr. Green. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole, yeah. You're a wild one, Mr. Grinch. You got termites in your smile You have all the tender sweetness Of a seasick crocodile, you Mr. Green Given the choice between the two of you I'll take a seasick crocodile Wasty skunk, your heart is full of unwashed socks, your soul is full of gunk, you Mr. Green. The three words that describe you best are as follows, and I quote Stink, stink, stink. <laughs> Woo! Uh, yes. Yes, sir. That's a great song. Back in my second polar park here. Ariana, I'm still working on my chocolate oatmeal stout. It's friggin' delicious. It was brewed at 53 degrees, 30 uh, north, 59 point. I don't know how to read uh, those. What are they even called? Coordinates. Coordinates. So Coordinates. I know you said that was your last song, Jake, but we, we did. Can do one more. We had a couple requests for not Christmas, but for Tavern Down Below. All right, let's do the Tavern Down Below. Tavern down below for us? Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll end it with the tavern down below. Merry Christmas, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and Amanda tonight. I wish you guys Merry all Christmas. the best. We're really looking forward to this Be Live app taking off next year and uh, being a part of it. It's exciting to be something, uh, something so cool and from our own neck of the woods, too. What a treat. This is a song that I wrote in 2012. Tavern down below. I know what I did. Yes, 
Cause I know what I done And I know where I'm going When my time here is done And I know what you did And I know that you meant And I know that you made it there That's what the people said Cause we've all lied I didn't know until Halloween that that song was about hell. Yeah. <laughs> and Jimmy was like, we were talking about Halloween songs to play on the show. A 95.7 Cruise FM, shout out. Uh, <laughs> was, this, wait, was this part of the James P. White experience or what? which no, part of the show? show? was like, we can play Tavern down below. It's about going to hell. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just thought it was about a dive bar. <laughs> Yeah, dive bar. I have a question. Uh, when are you playing next? Um, you know, with the new restrictions and everything. I don't, I'm actually, I've been pushing, I'm hosting Open Mic in Sherlock Park at the Sherlock Holmes on Thursdays, which has been a lot of fun. So if you know anybody that's talented that wants to come out and play, that would be awesome. And then some other exciting news for the new year is the, I've been in the studio a little bit and we're going to put out, uh, I think five or six singles next year or an EP or an album or I don't know how people release music anymore, but we're, we're going to be releasing new music in January and February. So that's super exciting. And, so. and are we going to get you on be live again? Yeah, we're going to do be live again. Let's do that. 100% schedules. Uh, whenever I can fit it, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. We can do it any night of the week. It's the part of awesome. The yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. You get to drink in your house and yeah. we play some shows. Life's so. good. That's my kind of show. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, guys, that was a ton of fun. Merry Christmas. Till next year. Say bye to Amanda. Thanks, Merry Amanda. Christmas. Woo! Christmas.